you guys. So most of this video is filmed with the car rolling. So something in here is rattling. I don't know what it is. Please forgive the annoying rattle. Hey, hey, you beautiful, wonderful soul. Your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And today is day 1363 of my keto journey. No, I'm never sure. <laughs> Need to Google it, I guess. Uh, yeah, rock quarry. Um, right across from us. I'm going to show you everything I did yesterday and my way in from both yesterday and today is comparison. If you're interested in following a daily keto life journey and vlog. Okay. You hit me a lot. I could get you arrested. <laughs> Give me your boob. I'll just pee you know. <laughs> Is that a crow? Anyway, uh, I'm a uh, crap. Like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. Don't forget. Wait. I already said that. Okay. It's time to rant, rave, and misbehave. Keto Diamond stuff. That was time 30 seconds ago. <laughs> t-shirt on my teespring link below refuse hate refuse labels be you think comes in many colors sizes and styles you guys so yay stitches are gone holy crap three of them grew into my skin i sent you the picture you can show them i, I can show you If you two don't demonetize that, uh, they're they're picky with some of the stuff that you show, but it's just stitches. Um, three of them had grown into my skin. She had to go get the doctor to get them out, and they had very crappy clippers. And she was even complaining about how crappy they were. And then the doctor came in and said, "These are very crappy." I'm like, "Can we order some more? Uh, you know, just in case." As much <laughs> bitching, moaning, and itching as uh, these nine stitches caused me, I honestly do not think. I'm going to be a good candidate for any kind of skin removal uh, surgery, so I'm just going to have to do the best I can with what I got. Uh, yeah, nine stitches compared to like hundreds and, and drainage and all this, that, and the other. Wimpy. Yes, I am, sir. Wait a minute, who you call a wimpy? I got a needle shoved up my nose and I didn't shave one tear. No, but you jumped I a jumped, mile. I jumped once at the very end because it hurt. <laughs> And it was in a monetary, not a podcast. <laughs> you just sit there and ride, sir. Um, Don't that. You didn't say sit there and be quiet. Sit there and be quiet and ride, sir. Play your game. Play your game. That's a good idea. Um, I forgot what I was going to talk about. So, I mean, I appreciate a lot of you guys with the well wishes for hubby and telling us your own stories. That does help ease the mind a little bit, of course. Of course not, not, not necessarily for him. He's the one, you know, going through it and having to deal with it. But it, it seems to be very, very common. And we hope it's just a commonplace one, you know. Um, no reoccurrences and it not be too bad. Because they haven't really told you what it was yet, have they? They haven't done the finished the biopsy yet, have they? Monday, okay. So we'll know more about it, what, what kind it is. Right now they're thinking basil, which is kind of like an isolated, well not isolated, but um, localized kind of deal. It doesn't really spread that much, but once you get one, more likely to get like the green pumpkin. You don't look like the green pumpkin. You want to look like the green pumpkin. No, you're not. You're adorable. A lot of these people said last night that, um, that friends of theirs had it and it looked bad while they were doing the biopsy and all that, but once it was all healed up and fixed, couldn't even tell they had it done. So that's a good thing. Um, and it would be really nice if they got it all with a biopsy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Doubt it, but it'd be nice. That would be good. Um, to him, it looks much worse than it does to me. To me, it looks pretty much like it did anyway. A little redder, redder and more inflamed, but... For the most part, it doesn't look any different in size. So. It's like a slice of ham. It's not look like a slice of ham. Looks like your nose has a sore on the side of it. You didn't see it before it's stepped up. It looked like a slice of ham. I did kind of see it um, because you showed it to me that one time. It's not That's just pork. I don't think we do white and dark with pork. <laughs> Yeah, Pam 
by hand with barbecue and make two different things. All right, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this over with, show y'all what I ate, and be right back with my way in. I'm at Golden Corral. It is an 18-hour fast. I have um, cabbage, some zucchini, bacon, bourbon street chicken, and some grilled chicken. Five hours after Golden Corral. So it's 0.3 ketones, glucose, 99. I've seen the same thing early in the morning, so I mean, I guess as far as everything goes, that didn't really hurt me too bad. Uh, almond bark bar. I got some TGI wings and some ranch. Sorry, it's dark in here. Babies are trying to go to sleep. Wednesday morning, you guys. Now look, 166.8. This is not my first thing in the morning. Weigh in. I forgot to weigh in. I've been up for well over an hour. I've took a shower. I've goofed off. I've had coffee. I forgot to weigh in, <laughs> and this is still lower than yesterday, so I will so, so take it and be happy. Happy Thursday morning, you guys. Uh, 165.8. So I went down 0 0.8, not real sure okay. how. Yeah, I'm not real sure how, but when we went to Golden Crow yesterday, I did behave myself at any sweets or any kind of um, breading or anything like that. It was all, but I did have my Bourbon Street chicken, which... I'm very pleased that maybe once in a while I can have as long as I behave myself as far as, you know, the vegetables and all that go and not touching any sweets. So that's great. Um, had a lot of TGI Friday's hot wings last night. Was starving late in the evening. So it wasn't too bad. Now, if I've got more to tell you, and I think I probably will, I'll be right back with all of that. I had my hair again. It was a little darker. They probably didn't notice. Because um, that red, the, the last what I did was fading out and it looked kind of weird and I was starting to look kind of really thin because all the blonde hair was growing out and like you could see my scalp really good but it wasn't really my scalp it was the blonde hair but it looked like the scalp so it didn't matter um really where's that now this beer when I dyed it red I showed you okay can we show you some go closer All right, you guys. Yeah, I wanted to tell you that. Okay. Special thank you to Miss Allison who sent me these great videos. Thank you so much. I haven't had a chance to sit down and watch them yet. I have had them a couple days. But she sent Tom Hanks, The Money Pit, The Burbs, and Dragnet. And she also sent Hall Pass and Wedding Crashers. So apparently these are some of her favorite funny movies. And I asked you guys to let me know what the favorite funny movies are. And this was it right here for her. So we're going to watch these and enjoy them one day. But, of course, the weekend's coming up. Hey guys, this is the colors I used this week. I don't even know what it's called, but it is a very hot pink corally color. If you can see better than I can, more power to you, but I can't see what that says. There we go. I still don't know what it says, but that's what it is. Uh, and then I used some glitter, also by LA Colors. Um, so I like the way that looks. Very shiny, very pretty. Um, oh, and today's number, if you made it this far in the video, is number 16. Comment number 16 below for your chance to win a Shoshka bracelet. By the way, Shoshka bracelets are guaranteed to last, guaranteed for life, and amazing! You could order one below if you don't want to wait to win. Um, they are 50% off with my discount below. So it's later in the evening. I've got my meals prepped for work and hubby's meals prepped for work. Um, nothing special. I'm having like some steak and uh, grilled chicken this week. And I, I need to check to see if my deviled eggs are still good. Because <laughs> I made them last Thursday. They might not be. What do y'all think? I'll sniff them. We'll find out. <laughs> it's kind of scared now. Uh, but anyway, I'll check to see if those are still good. If they are, I'll take some of those with me too. Uh, my anxieties are raising. They're just kind of sky high. I don't know why. Going to work now is, is makes me a little anxious. I guess, you know, over the... The course of the last several weeks and stuff but I enjoy working I enjoy making a paycheck I enjoy um, a lot of the people I work with I haven't been late haven't called out haven't left early nothing I don't know I just it, I feel like I haven't done anything wrong but it feels like all eyes are on me does that make sense I don't know I'm just anxious, that's all. Um, 
and I'm tired. I need to go to bed. But you see, it's still daylight, right? It's like 7.30. Um, of course, this will take me forever to get put up because these videos are just slow sometimes when you're trying to post them. I need a new phone. Really, I do. And I want to go with Verizon because I have Boost, and in the building I work in, I have no signal whatsoever. I have to come outside usually and restart my phone before I even get a signal again. And it's not a big deal because I don't pull my phone out at work. But if somebody needs me, I would like for them to be able to contact me, you know. And at work, they, they don't mind if you check your phone if something's going on or if you need to. Uh, if you have to step away for a minute, you can do that. I haven't needed to, thank goodness. Um, there was one incident, but that was at lunchtime. So... Just, it, that raises my anxieties too with with my mom and everything and hubby and his health concerns right now. Hopefully it's no big deal or it's a big deal to him. I don't want to undercut it or undermine it. If finding out you have skin cancer of any sort is not cool. Nobody wants that crap. Nobody wants to think they have to have biopsies and things cut out of their body or any of that other stuff. It's, it's just not okay. And I, I feel for him. I just... um it's not my body, so I can look at it obje objectively and be like, you're most likely going to be just fine, you know, but when it's you, it's terrifying, and like I said, I don't want to undercut him or, under or undermine what he's going through or anything like that, it's just, I guess I have a little faith that he's going to be fine, you know, and uh, even if he does end up with a scar on his nose, that's not going to affect our marriage, you know, unless it sends him into a state of depression, and I hope not, um, but if he's got the only woman he's ever going to have to worry about, he don't have to worry about that. It's just a scar on your nose from where you had skin cancer. It's, and we'll deal with it, you know? But I get it. I mean, we're all vain. And if I had it, I would probably just freak the hell out. And I'm very vain, honestly. And I hate to admit that, but I really am. I don't like for anything to be wrong. I had something cut off my back that nobody ever sees, okay? Ever. Except for me. But I did off scale victory put two new mirrors up today one was just because it's really really pretty i got it at the thrift store the other day um one of the restores it's bright blue it's got these four glass panels mirror panels in it looks kind of like a window but it's my color blue that door that sits behind me y'all know i film in front of the front door a lot the dogs have scratched it up they've laid against it people have, their feet have touched it it looks horrible but i just painted that like it's probably about two years ago now to be honest but it looks terrible. And I don't know when I'm going to have time to paint it again because we still got dogs and kids <laughs> and I work. So, yeah, there's that. But I would like that area to look a lot better since I film in front of it a lot, you know? <sighs> Take a deep breath. What I do? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. But I've got my coffee and everything prepped and everything ready for the work weekend. Y'all know my videos tend to get really, really short and don't even come on Sundays. Um, and that's not on purpose. I intend to make one on Sunday, but usually end up sitting in my desk chair chilling for a minute and <laughs> just passing right out. Um, but I'm going to try to this Sunday. I can't make any promises on any day of the week that I work. Depends on how much sleep I get and how knocked out I am when I get home. But I do intend to make videos all weekend long. I enjoy making my videos. Even when I'm super tired, I enjoy, you know, the interaction with you guys and having you comment and be able to read that. It's 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 nice to, to know that I'm not alone in this struggle. And, I mean, the first part of my journey was not a struggle at all. I flew right through that. It was easy peasy. Mostly, you know, I mean, there was some moments, but... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm coming up on four years. It'll be four years on keto in July. How long have you been doing keto? Have you started yet? I'm curious. Um, but I'm coming up on four, four years at the end of July. And um, I feel like I've wasted three of them. And it, they're not wasted. Don't get me wrong. It just feels like nothing's really happened much in three years. Because um, I lost my first 100 pounds in a year. And over the, the last three, or coming up on three... We're talking 55-ish pounds, and I floated back up from there to it being more like 145-ish. But I still count it, because I hit that new low. And that's still mine. Now, I don't celebrate until I get back, or really celebrate. I mean, I will be happy to get the water weight off, but I'm not going to really celebrate until I hit a brand new low. Um, and I got this close to losing half of my body weight by, like, 
I think a difference of maybe one pound or even less than a pound. Uh, Might have been 0 0.8. I don't know. But it was so damn close. And then vacation and holidays and then not being able to stay 100% on track ever since. And and that did throw me. And it's not a good thing. You know, I, I am okay with everybody doing their thing. If you need to come off on holidays, that's on you. But realize it's harder to get back on, even for somebody who's been doing this forever, or it feels like forever, um, at that point, three and a half years. Um, so it's just, it's hard sometimes. It really is. And I don't mean to have off days. I don't mean to have cheat days generally. I very rarely set out to do anything wrong. And even when I'm not doing anything wrong, wrong, some of the things I know will stall me, will slow me down, will keep anything from happening. And I use these quite frequently. Like, um, sorry. Um, I use these things quite frequently, like the Bourbon Street Chicken from Gone Crow. Now, normally, normally we will go there two, maybe three times in an entire year. But I guess with me working now, uh, him having more doctor's appointments in the area that it's in, um, shopping in areas that it's in, we go there just far more often and I'm not blaming that place for it. It's not their fault that I cannot resist Bourbon Street Chicken. In fact, my only purpose for walking in their front door is the Bourbon Street Chicken, okay? Um, <laughs> and that's not bad. It's like, it's not high carb, but it's not exactly keto either. It's just, I love it and I'm going to eat it and I need to stay the hell out of that place a little bit more, but I'm not making a promises because my favorite food. But I do know that it will slow me down and stall me. I know that a lot of keto treats, snacks, and other stuff will slow me down and stall me. Probably my coffee because technically I am breaking my fast in the mornings. Um, I know there's a certain calorie limit. I know that, there, well, for some, some say a calorie limit of less than 50 calories will or will not break your fast. And others say if you have one calorie, it will break your fast. And it's kind of, I, I don't know, maybe it depends on the personal person's body, their, their work or whatever, but I'm pretty sure I'm breaking my fast early in the mornings with my coffee. And I'm only using unsweetened vanilla almond milk because I can't use dairy much and um, stevia drops. So really there shouldn't be anything in there that hurt me, but it is probably breaking my fast and taking me, you know, on a little bit of a I don't want to say kick, but every time you eat anything, you're kicked just a mighty teeny tiny little bit. Um, or at least that's what Thomas DeLauer said. I don't know. I've never seen my ketones drop from uh, or go away from eating just a little tiny bit. Um, even, But they will come down a little bit and your insulin levels will spike a little bit. So and you don't want a big spike, but a small spike is normal when you're eating. <sighs> I need a nap. I need a bed. That's what I need to do. I need to go to bed because, oh my gosh, I've been rambling like crazy. All the videos, the end part, and there ain't nothing here for you, probably. Anyway, guys and dolls, if you made it to this far in the video, I think I've already said this, but today's number is 16. If you would like to enter to win a Shoshka bracelet, or you can just hit the link below and go buy you one if you want to. Uh, I love them. I really do. They're my they're my favorite jewelry now. They really are. Um, not that I have anything against Sterling Silver stuff. I'm just saying. <sighs> Stop it. Go to bed. Good grief. Okay, guys. I'm going to eat. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to hit the bed. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. And um, get lazy until early, early in the morning. Until 5 a.m. So, early to bed, early to rise, right? Okay. If I can, because I need more sleep. That's one of my biggest things. I need a lot more sleep. I'm just not getting any for the most part. Sometimes I do, but mostly... Shut up, Johnny. Anyway, guys and dolls, <laughs> if you need my help with your ketogenic journey, my contact information is below. There are some things that I have not done yet that I need to take care of in my email address. Not uh, keto, uh, well, for my site. I need to get an article posted on my site. A lady wrote an article for it, and I haven't gotten it up yet. And it don't look like it's going to be this weekend because I'm usually too tired. I'll go work on it. All right, so links in the description below to get you Shashka bracelets or gain um, collagen peptides or protein powder. The chocolate, again, tastes like a chocolate Wendy's Frosty and 15% saved on a Keto Mojo kit. 
There's also some great ways to support the channel in the des description below if you'd like to. Much love, many prayers. I talk too much. Bye, y'all.